Hi friends, welcome to a new video. My name is Marta and I'm glad to see you on my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about monochrome color combination, how to put together a monochrome outfit and everything you need to know about it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. designer included monochrome looks in their collections for this fall and initially I wanted to do video about trends but then I decided that monochrome color combination deserves more attention because it is timeless and monochrome outfits always look more cohesive and elevated not to mention you can use this formula regardless of trends I think this trend really blew up after Joe Biden's inauguration when almost all ladies decided to show up dressed in total monochrome and after that we started to see more presence of monochrome on the runway even though for some brands it, like Max Mara it is in their DNA. Now it's all over the runway, we've seen it from Balenciaga to Dior and it's still growing and I think it will stay with us for a while. So what is monochrome and how to put together a perfectly balanced outfit? If we take a look at the color wheel, monochrome is when we take one section of the color wheel and use all the shades from the very bright, which is closer to the white, to more saturated in the middle and then darker shade as we go to the black. So basically we have one color and as it is closer to the white, to center of the wheel, it has more white paint in it and as we go farther away from the center it gets more saturated and then darker because we have more black paint mixed uh, with the color. For the first formula we're gonna take one color but we're gonna take shades that are very close to each other and for this formula I would recommend use more neutral colors like grays, beige, browns. If you use brighter, more saturated colors, uh, your outfit will look aggressive. It will definitely stand out and get some attention. If that's something that you want to do, please go ahead. But if you want to stay more casual and uh, use it, uh, this formula for everyday use, I would recommend to use neutral colors. For this total bash look, I'm mixing different textures. I'm wearing this beautiful rolling in jacket with rib tank top and pants, and we have lots of textures in bag and boots. I also decided to add this stained scarf with snake print to help different temperatures in my outfit get along a little bit better. Quick switch for sneakers for days when I don't feel like wearing heels. Next outfit will be total gray mixed with a little bit of white. White and black are neutral colors and can be mixed with any color. I know some of you hate Uggs, but I like ugly shoes and they are the most comfortable shoes ever. For this outfit, I'm also playing with textures. So I have this super cozy, neat cardigan mixed with smooth texture pants and a leather bag. And white t-shirt works here perfectly. For the second formula, we're going to take one color, but shades that are away from each other. I'm going to take light blue and mix it with a dark navy. 
For this outfit, I'm going for that preppy style look. So I button my shirt all the way up and I add a velvet hat. Look how contrasting those shades of blue look. But because they have the same undertone, they work together really well. For the last outfit, I'm pairing light peppermint with emerald green. Good old Dr. Martens in white and a top matching baseball cap to elongate my torso a little bit and balance the very high waist of the skirt. That was it for today. Thank you for staying with me till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching and I see you soon.